Hi, are you okay? So this is the second part of the stats pack. Um, hopefully we should get this done before Easter, or you just kind of finish it off over Easter. There's no real worries about it, there's no real issues. So let's have a look at the first question. First question. So bivariate data. So by just means two, variate is variables. It's pretty much a scatter graph, to be honest. So it's got a scatter diagram there. So for positive correlation, we know that they both increase. So x increases and y increases. Marvelous. Negative correlation. So we want it to go down like that. So as x increases, y decreases. And no correlation is that there's no, no it's, it should be no linear correlation really. So we have different types of correlation. There's no linear pattern to it. We only deal with, you know, like lines are best fit that you did from school. We kind of want to deal with straight lines. Well, there's more. Uh, so we have to interpret in context. Uh, say what x and y are. Right then, so I've got an example here. I just need to pause to put the calculator on because there's a way to do it on your calculator. What I want you to do, just while I'm going to pause this now, so you're not kind of, you know, well, it'll jump anyway, won't it? Do we put them in list one and list two? In the menu two. Okay, I'm just going to pause it now. There, I'm back. Right then, so um, I've got my data in the calculator. So list one was a minute, so list two is a time. If I just press F1 to graph, F1 to graph. There, and then just graph one. And you can tell, see there that it's a negative correlation. So it says for part A, it says describe the type of correlation. So I've got negative correlation. For part B, it says interpret it. So as time, uh, what's this for then? So the longer the time the cakes have been out of the oven, the lower the temperature gets, or something like the temperature lowers, the temperature drops. Okay, oh, that doesn't make sense, does it? Ah. So let's go with uh, as time out of the oven increases. To be fair, all you want to say is that um, the longer it's out, the cooler it gets. So as long as somebody got something like that, then that's fine. So as time out of the oven increases, Temperature decreases. And it'll eventually go down to room temperature. Temperature oops, decreases. There, that'll do us. Something like that. Doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Sorry. Right. The board doesn't seem to want to work properly. So it's not advantageous when you're in a rush. So it's gone too far. So we've got the product moment correlation coefficient. So we know that correlation is positive, negative, or weak, uh, or neutral, or you know, you've got all these different um, words that describe it. Going from strong positive to weak positive to no correlation to weak negative and strong negative. There's actually more categories, but ours is quite basic. So what we want, we want a value, and your calculator works out the value, and that's this value here. So and what you'll do is you'll get a value between minus 1 and 1. Perfect positive correlation is a 1. Perfect negative correlation is a minus one. 
So if we do, uh, so it says R is one that indicates perfect positive correlation. So I've got a line, and all the points are definitely on the line. Oops. For R is zero, I've got no linear correlation. And for R is minus one, I've got perfect negative correlation. So all the points splitting on the line there. So this is saying, if it's positive, it's <laughs> if your R value is positive, it's positive correlation. The stronger it is, the bigger it is. If it's uh, R value is negative, it's negative correlation. And the bigger the negative number, the better it is. So there's a question here for you, just to link them up. So can you do that for me? Uh, so we've got a strong positive, hopefully you put that. Uh, oh, hang on. I should read them really, shouldn't I? Oh, I just copied off me there. There. So very strong, almost perfect positive correlation. And then I've got strong negative correlation. So that must be a positive correlation. And that, because it's quite small and negative, is a weak negative correlation. There you go. Let's have a look at this example then. So it says, Dr. Hammer collected a random sample of 25 male patients aged between 55 and 65, recorded heights, weights, waist measurements. She asked her assistant Lenny to calculate PMCCs. So we've got some results, and I guess we just want to decide if they were okay. So, uh, I mean, you kind of expect. So you'd expect it to be positive, because you'd expect look, the kind of taller you are, the bigger your waist is. There's not necessarily a major league correlation between it, because you're going to have tall people who are slim, short people who aren't so slim. So if they're expected to be positive, I guess this is okay. So it's probably good. Well, that can't be right, can it? Because the maximum value is one, so that's definitely not right. Uh, so weight and weight and waist. I guess it's been correct. Isn't it? But we kind of expect that to be a positive correlation, so probably incorrect. Correct. So you'd expect positive correlation. There we go. Right, so we got there's one there for you to have a go at, and then I'm going to kind of pause that. So I think that that's probably due for the end of the video. Um, so go on this. There's that. Now we haven't done that much actually. So there's some questions for you on the next page. Uh, oh, my questions for you have been moved. Oh my God, same as the first pack. My questions have moved around. So just let me stop this video here.